connecting the Google Analytics API to Screaming Frog. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how you connect your Google Analytics account to Screaming Frog. In the past, we've talked about what those reports end up looking like. Um, there's a bit of a technical setup um, prior to that working correctly. So we'll just go through that really quickly. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to go to Configuration in the top navigation. Go to API Access and then Google Analytics. And as you can see, we have no existing accounts linked yet. So we're going to click Connect to New Account. Now, if you're logged into your Google um, account already, this is really easy. It's just going to sort of pop up a window. So I'm going to hit Connect to New Account. And it brings up the verification screen. And I simply click Allow. And now when I go back to Screaming Frog, I can then choose the different account, property, view, and segment that I want to connect to this. So under account, I'm going to choose the appropriate account. Uh, property, and the view is set already. Uh, note of caution is that um, segment by default is set to the first alphabetical segment. So um, you just want to be careful that you switch this. Um, you know, in, in most cases, this is going to be for, um, for uh, all users. I'm uh, having trouble finding right now. There it is. Um, but uh, obviously you could only connect to a certain segment if you had a reason to. Well, and then you just click OK. And once that's done, you are done. And all you really need to do then is rescan your site, at which time you'll then see analytics data within the analytics report. Um, so it's that simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can have multiple accounts sort of saved in here at once, so you can you know, pick the appropriate one at any time and attach it to the right profile.